Hey there, welcome back to Two Minute Guitar Lesson. Today we're going to tackle them bones. If you've ever tried this song, you've noticed it's a little bit off kilter, and that's because most of it is in 7 8. And what that means is that it's, you know, relative to 4 4 time, it's going to be short an eighth note. So if you don't count, you're in big trouble. But if you do count, uh, it won't be that bad. But feeling it's going to be a little tricky. Now, I've read in an interview that Jerry Cantrell said that, you know, he doesn't think too much about this stuff. It just comes naturally to him, and rightly so. He wrote the song, and he's going to have that connection that you or me will never have. Uh, so the rest of us, you know, mortals, what we have to do is just figure it out. And so what I do uh, is I'll recommend using a metronome. And, you know, in this case, it's going to be a little tricky because of 7-8. And the chorus in this, this tune goes back into 4-4 four, four for only two measures, and so you're stuck with you know being uh, in seven eight and just trying to work that out and then working into to four four for the chorus and then back to seven eight and then back and forth throughout the whole song. I'm going to give you a tip that's going to make it a little bit easier. All right, so first off, what I have here is the metronome that I use. Now, I'm not endorsed by this, um, but I've used this for years and most recently this developer has started to uh, update it. I've seen a, a ton of updates come through and I think they nearly have it worked out. Uh, this is Pro Metronome. I was turned on to this by a student. Uh, they liked it and one of the features that I like about it most uh, is that it will count out loud. It won't count for you. You still need to do that but uh, this is you know something that I've, I've worked on and use it as my tool you know to help work this thing out. So let's take a look at this thing. So what I have here is uh, I, I shot a little video of the the metronome in the playlist, and or I've made a, a song list, and and basically you can see there that I've created this seven eight time uh, for most of the riff, and then I've created uh, this uh, the the chorus where it plays two bars and then it trans transitions back into seven eight time. Uh, you know, the best way, you know, to think about counting this would be something like this, where it's one and two and three and four and five and six and seven, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven. That's going to be your main opening riff and it'll be the transition riff. It's also what you play uh, behind the solo. The verse riff goes something like this, still in seven, and basically the same thing, just minimized a little bit. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six and seven, one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that's a little tricky. And then you have to jump to, you know, from the seven, four, uh, seven, eight, rather, to the four, four. And that's something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One, and two, a three, and a four, and one, and a two, and a three, and a four, one, two, and a three, and a four, and one, and a two, and a three, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And so you can see it's a little bit tricky. I end up counting something else, but I got it in my head that this is seven and I'm going to leave my 4-4 a little bit early. Um, the best thing that I can recommend for you is to, to really start to count it out. You can try to guess it, you know, and you'll screw it up a bunch of times. But you know what? The, the best practice thing you're going to do is focused and right to the point. And so I would highly recommend, it doesn't have to be this metronome. Um, it can be a different metronome. But here's the funny thing. When you count out loud, your brain hears it and it checks it. It checks to make sure it makes sense. I mean, I think of people with a stutter and that's been proven, you know, that the people with a stutter get into a feedback loop because they, their brain hears them talking and gets into this loop where they can't break out of it. And there's exercises for that and, and it's something you can overcome. Um, so the best thing I can recommend is that you practice going from seven, eight to four, back to seven, eight. And this little video clip, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is going to help you, you know, do that because this thing will count out loud for you, giving you those reference points and in the playlist, help you transition from 7-8 to 4-4 back to 7-8. Have fun.